I just kind of eat th- throughout the day. I have to stop myself doing too much of something. Just go hard or go yeah. home. And I will be back in Malaysia hopefully very soon. Hi, Ed. How are you? Good, man. How are you? I'm doing good. Or shall I say, welcome back, Ed. We miss you. We miss your music so much. It's about time to get more Ed you and stuff on Thank our you. radios. Well, I'm glad to. I'm glad to be back. It's been a long time. How was the break? Was it was it the rejuvenation you needed all this while? Yeah, I think so. I mean, I I basically took a break so I could like actually live life to write songs about because I was you know like when you go on tour, your life kind of goes on pause and you don't really experience anything new. You're kind of just doing the same thing. I mean, it's it's great. But like you can't you can't write songs that make you feel anything because you're not feeling anything. Does that make right. sense? Yeah, yeah, completely, completely. And I love how you picked up different things. But while you were on the break, you picked up painting. I believe I remember that one time you yeah, painted. I did this. I did this <laughs> oh my god! Please put yeah. that on auction. I will work very hard to just afford that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, you know what, I'm going to keep this one. I've auctioned two for charity before. Wow. Um, yeah, I uh, I'm not going to sell this one. Anything. It's a beautiful piece, Ed. It's a beautiful piece. Love it. You know, straight off the bat, your new song, Bad Habits, you know, after four years of not releasing a solo single, this is your first one. It's crazy. Of all the songs, I'm sure you've been working on different music. I know it's when it comes to Ed Sheeran, there's no such thing as, I'll just work on one song at one time. There's no such thing, right? Yeah, so yeah. among all the songs that you've prepared for us already, why Bad Habits? first i think because it was the most different a lot of the album sounds a lot like my other albums you know there's like love songs like perfect there's right. like upbeat songs like don't and sing and yeah you and stuff like that and bad habits was just a sonic that i'd never heard myself do so i kind of i thought that would be the most interesting one to put out first and speaking of bad habits what are some of ed Sheeran's bad habits that you are not that embarrassed to admit to all of us it used to be smoking i guess it's just like excess you know doing things like i have to stop myself doing too much of something so if i i really like drinking so i have to stop myself drinking too mm-hmm. much my bad my bad habit was i never had an off switch i just went it's like know? going hard or go home it's like if i do something i'm gonna do it excessively is that somewhat yeah but i think <laughs> But I think that bad habit actually bleeds into some of my good habits because I feel like with working and with music and with studio and with touring and stuff, I'm exactly the same way. It's go hard or go home and I'm making sure. So I think that that's a a trait of mine that causes some bad habits, but also causes some good habits. I get your point. I get your point. Okay, I've got a list of, I wouldn't say exactly bad habits, but these are just common habits of Malaysians. Okay, we Malaysians like to do these things. So we'll see if Ed Sheeran can relate to any of these habits or not. Okay, (laughs) the first one, we tell people, we're on the way when actually we're just getting ready. I can't relate to that. Um, my wife, my wife is like that. Well, she's not so much, she's not so much. She'll just, it's always like five minutes or 10 minutes when actually it's like, and I feel like I, I like, I don't mind find people are late i just like like honesty if someone's got like like look i'm really busy i'm gonna be two hours late i'm like cool i can do something with my yeah. time then i'll just make so i don't mind that you're late so yeah i feel like that's uh but that's that's quite a common trait with a lot of my friends to be honest <laughs> So it's not just Malaysians, huh? No, 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 no. That's like, that's... It's universal. It's universal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, we Malaysians, this is pretty bad. This is a pretty bad habit. We slow down on the road when there's an accident at the side of the road. We don't, it's not to help. It's just like, oh, what's happening? I think that that's an English thing too. I think that's an, an, I think, I think it's just curiosity. I think that that, that's, that's anything. Like you'll go to London if there's like a police cordon off thing, you know, people will stop by and see what's going on. It's just things that are unusual to your normal daily life that you're Right. Stuff. We Malaysians, we use the power of the hen when we're crossing the road. So that's even though it is time for the pedestrians to cross, but we're like, stop, stop, I want to cross. Uh, I don't think that's an English thing. I think, you know, that culturally that could happen in England, but I feel like where I'm from in England, we're so British that we're kind of so polite that we'll wait at the side of the road for it to stop and everything stop. And then we, I think, yeah, I think that's just, that. it does happen in England, but I feel like cult- <laughs> culturally in different places. Not very common there, huh? No, it would be. I think it'd be very common in a metropolitan city like London. Okay, okay. Be, where I live, where I live in a tiny town and everyone's like terrified of everything, you know? <laughs> we're gonna follow, once it's green, then what? When it's red, we wait first. Okay. I don't actually. I don't think we we do. We don't even have traffic lights in my what? town. What? We have a thing called. A, do you have zebra crossings? Oh yeah, we do. But I always yeah. zebra crossings plus the the, the traffic lights double, <laughs> and we still use the hand. Imagine that, and we still use the hand. That's just how much we want to make use of everything that we have. Okay, we are obsessed with free gifts. If it's like I don't need this item, but if you buy this today, you're gonna get a free gift. We're gonna buy it. I'm in. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I'm. <laughs> I'm one. I'm one for a deal. My my cupboard actually is like just. <laughs> I have like a pantry cupboard, 
that I buy everything in bulk because it's on uh, on deals. So if I want to buy like one peanut butter, I'll get like 24. <laughs> it, and then I'll just keep 24 peanut butters and then... Yeah, I'll I'm with the you, promotions yeah. and all the promotions that they all of that, offer yeah. us. We Malaysians, okay, at family gatherings, I don't know how to put this in words, but okay, let's say we're at the family dining table and we're having fruits, okay? So like, yeah, we've already cut the mangoes or whatever, right? We'll just take and eat but once it's the last piece of mango, we'll just leave it there and like, oh, who wants to take it? We're just too considerate. Again, yeah, I think that's a very, very English thing. I think, I think, I think that's just trying to be polite and yeah, yeah, not yeah. not wanting to take the last one. But like, I I have to say, I'm always the person that like waits like two minutes. It sees, it sees if anyone wants it, and then I'm okay. That's mine. where I can relate. Yeah, you have to be like kind of polite, but if no one's no one's gonna take it, you haven't. Mine it. as well, right? Okay, yeah. this is the last one. We Malaysians, we don't have three meals. It's not just breakfast, lunch, and dinner. We have breakfast, brunch, lunch, uh, tea, dinner, and actually even supper. Yeah, as sometimes well. a midnight can snack. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's a yes for you guys as well. Yeah, I think so. I think. I mean, we like. Yeah, we're we're. I I just kind of eat th throughout the day. I used to eat like lots throughout the day, and now I'm like little bits. I have like a big breakfast, big lunch, big dinner, and then in between, I'll have like banana, whatever. I feel you. I feel you. So your last time in Malaysia was back in 2019, right? Do you still remember yeah. that that, that concert yeah, yeah, here? Yeah, very well, yeah. It was Loved so it. hot. Tell me about it. And I'm wearing we a went, jacket here. We went on a hike uh, in the day as well. Mm -hmm. We went up a hike up a mountain that was really beautiful. Oh my God. Wow. You had time for that. Is there anything you want to tell your Malaysian fans that you last met two years ago at? Uh, the album's coming and I hope you like it. And I will be back in Malaysia hopefully very soon. Yay! Thank you so much, Adam. Sorry for the terrible singing at the start of this interview. No, I loved it. I loved it. <laughs> Thank you, man. You stay safe, Ad. Nice one, man. Have a good day.